Good morning. I'm just cutting up a bunch of apples that a local camp actually donated. And we're going to go out and give the horses and goats, maybe even the sheep, some apple. So apple is obviously quite high in sugars. So, you know, you wouldn't really want to give it every day, especially to horses that might have metabolic issues. But it is a really nice, healthy snack. So I'll finish cutting up these and then we'll get out there. So everything on the farm is greening up now, finally. And I actually have quite a lot of seedlings to get out, which have gone past the point of being seedlings and some are actually starting to get buds. So that's a bit ridiculous, but um, yeah, I ignore my scratchy voice because pollen is everywhere. If you look over there, that's how we get to the trail. You can ride horses on the trail or bike or walk or many other things. So you can see the little short buttercups there, they're so pretty. And our pond, pond update, that's a livestock guardian Hagrid update. <laughs> pond update, make sure I don't stand on a frog. It's teeming with tadpoles. So I don't know if you can see those on the video, but there are so many tadpoles. Let me see if I can. You see all that black? Those are tadpoles. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> so I don't know how many will survive and make it, of course. Um, but you know, even if, even if uh, 50 do out of those thousand, that's gonna be a huge amount of frogs. <clears throat> Again, sorry about my voice. So we raked the riding arena yesterday. So I have to set up all of the poles for lessons today, but it's looking amazing. Blue skies, can't complain. It is windy, but it's always windy on the mountain, so. Here's the donkeys, little mini donker ducks. Delilah's so cute, she will actually talk sometimes, so I have to see if she's gonna to speak to me today. Let's see who else is over here. Oh, Rowan just jumped up. Rowan and Hazel are in with Bo in paddock one right now. Hello. Oh, you silly Billy. So I'm just gonna crouch down in an area that's not <laughs> got a snake or anything. Hello, Delilah. Do you want a piece of apple? Oh, pff. Dominic will get that one. Delilah, do you want this one? I've never actually given her apple before. I've only ever given a carrot. She's probably highly confused. That is not orange and that is not a long thing. This is apple. Dominic ate his apple. You don't want any? You don't like the apple? Hmm? Oh, you don't know. You big ears. Dominic's all ready for another. Oh my goodness, no fighting now. Oh, Dominic. Oh, Dominic. See, Dominic's eating. Well, I'm going to have to go and get you some carrot now. Big ears. No? Oh, she's so confused. Okay, I'll bring you some carrot later. Dominic loves apple. Let's see, I know this little girl. This little one-year-old beauty. You're a mess. And I know that you... Here, yeah, boo-boo. 
Maple, hold it under. Huh? What's wrong with you guys today? You love apple. Oh, you got a smile. <laughs> you funny. Boo boo, apple. Don't bite my fingies. Don't bite my fingies. Oh. <laughs> you guys are silly today. It's so windy. Hazel, you want some apple? Come on then, Mama. Come on then. Come and get some apple. Oh my goodness, Dominic's the only apple lover today. Is it because it's red? You prefer green? Do you? Madam! Oh, you're going to smile again. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> you, you're not filling the apples today. Mama loves apples, so she's just going to take it. Here you go, Mama. It's an apple. <sighs> Dropped it. Bo, apple? Of course Bo wants an apple. Yes, because he loves apple. Don't you? You love apple. Not like these sillies. Hmm? Do you want another little piece? Yeah, I know you do. Don't eat me. <laughs> dropped it. I dropped it, Bo! Oh, now you know what it is. Now you know. Silly. Silly, silly. Did you think it was wormer? I do actually buy apple uh, flavored wormer. <laughs> oh my goodness, there she is. There's the baby. <clears throat> I'm choking on pollen. It's terrible. <sighs> Let's see who else is here. Indeed. What was that? That was a goat. That was a goat. Don't know if you can see out there. Zoom in. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see. Looks like Freckles and Wynn are lying down and Storm is grazing. Oh, and in the distance, Brie. And then there's Raven. So we actually have to brush hog all of these buttercups. Um, it looks like there's more than, more than there are, but yeah, we have to brush hog them all. But the grass is all between them. There's Teddy and Nutmeg. And then over there, Jasmine. Rosie's probably lying down. So let's see. I don't know that Wallace has ever had an apple. So Wallace, <laughs> you silly. You are silly because you got no hair anymore. You got your bald. You're bald, Wallace. You're a bald guy. You want some apple? Wallace. to do all the smell of vision first. Oh, oh. oh. Will he want to eat the apple? You guys, they love carrots. Apple is, I guess it's just a bit different. The goats though, forget it. They love all treats and everything that's not a treat too. Oh, Olaf nearly bit me. Oh my goodness, okay, okay. Okay, there's no problems with goats. <laughs> they literally eat everything. How is it? Is it yummy? Oh, Olaf, you're so cute. You guys, of course you love apples. Let's walk up here. Look, there's a vulture <clears throat> further up there. Oh my gosh, totally the wrong shoes for mud, but great. <laughs> We've had so much rain still. 
think we're in mud season part 28,000 at this point. Let's see who's up here. <clears throat> Jasmine, do you want a little apple treat? I am not walking through that long grass because I know that there are snakes and I have bare feet. <laughs> we have lots of little garter snakes, which they aren't a problem unless they jump on your foot and scare the life out of you. Hi, Mama. Do you want a piece of apple? Oh, there's Rosie. Yeah, you love, you love apple. You're just hopeless at holding things in your mouth. Let me hold it for you. Don't bite me though. There you go. Rosie looks like she's uh, good. Rosie! This is why people end up calling the farm, you know, your horse is dead. You're like, nope, <laughs> not dead, it's just sleeping. Ted, Ted. You get it, you big mouth? Of course you did. Of course you did, big boy. Nut, no, nut. No. Nut, no, nut no, loves apple, don't you? Yee! Ted, Ted. How much more do I have? Okay, give you a little one, okay? Oh my gosh, big mouth. Do you want another chestnut? Sir, you're such a thief. Go, get out of here. Look, Rosie hasn't even had one, have you? Okay, you get three because you're the big boy. Rosie, you're gonna make me come in there. Get your big snozzle out of the way. Move your snozzle, sir. Rosie, give me a mama. Give me a mama. Should we get electrocuted on the fence? Ah, look at these noses. You guys are silly. You guys are silly, aren't you? You're silly sillies. You're silly sillies. Come here, Rosie. I'm gonna zap myself on the fence. <laughs> You're so bad. You're so bad. I can't go in there because I'll get <laughs> I'll get zapped. You a mucky boy, what happened to your braids? What happened to your braids? You look beautiful. Now look at you. Oh my gosh, we have to redo your whole head. Oh dear. Well, that was an exciting snack time. Look at your hair, you big buffoon. Are you lucky? Oh my goodness, this lucky boy. This lucky boy. <clears throat> Just throw Rosie hers. You don't get any more because you're fat boy. So anyway, that was that. I'm not going to risk going over there in the long grass. <laughs> Look what a beautiful day it is though. So that's that. Snack time is done. Rosie has hers. I'll zoom in. There we go. Everybody's had their little treat treat. Lucky boy. Silly. Okay, I hope everyone has a great day and has something delicious to eat.